is consciousness. Right? Um, and that is, that is one thing that I know most theoretical physicists really hate is this subject about consciousness because that enters into a realm they have got no intention in, in entering, which is uh, uh, spiritual. Right? But I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about spiritual. I'm talking to move along time. You have to move consciousness. Now, apart from me saying this one basic part about me just using the remote to explain um, time travel. Now, let's say, for instance, I move back in time. Now, I'm going to play exactly the same role because I'm moving this same consciousness back to here. By me moving it back here, that means I'm enrolled. Um, all that I've learned in between here is going to become quote unquote evaporated. So it's going to come back here and then we're going to read it again. Now, let's say for instance, it was possible for me to make another choice. So instead of me choosing, I'm going to take my other remote and we're going to use these two remotes. So let's say for instance, at this point at the bottom here is where we have a point of choice right here. Right? Now let's say for instance, instead of me moving along this path here, which has been one choice, I choose to choose this path. At this point, I choose to choose this path. Now what does the universe do? The universe does this. By you at this specific point of conscious or unconscious, uh, subconscious or whatever conscious state, of a uh, decision to split up, the, the universe creates a parallel universe or a multiverse or a multi-dimension. And we start moving on this new timeline. But even if I move on this timeline, does it mean the me on this other timeline is not in existence? It is in pure existence, but it's going along its own timeline, right? That's why the parallel universes. Now, in my in the explanation I just did right now, it'll show that here this is what we call um, binary, uh, binary, uh, binary split universes, or. Um, this is more rigid. It's either it's either yes or no. It's either one or zero, basically, uh, and that's that. Uh, that's kind of like the way the binary uh, view of the universe is made, right? But this only binary view of how the universe is. Uh, uh, the, this view of how the binary universe of splitting uh, parallel universes is only when I would say huge decisions are made and what is and in the in the context of the universe what is what we call huge but anyways so that's where we, or where we are as humans can consciously say yes that is a decision that has been made so it's a binary so it we can see uh, definite split right but what happens for instance where the differences that have been made have been so minute to our perception of consciousness what what happens there so what happens there is what we call the boolean observable where the difference between two universes right is not as different as we would want to see them to be, or as we would choose them to see them, but it will be as if we're looking at the light spectrum between um, um, ultraviolet um, rays up to the infrared rays, where there's that spectrum um, in different colors, where it's not just ultraviolet or it's just not infrared, but it's the whole bandwidth in between it. And that is what we call the bowling are observable, right? Uh, this is where we, if we were to look at the parallel universe, for instance, and 
I'm going to um, go into like depth into this. Uh, uh, this is where you get, you see, this is why time travel is so a bit confusing. And uh, quantum physics is a bit confusing because quantum physics, to my understanding, and I could be totally wrong here, which I'm not going to be surprised, but it's whatever you think, right? Now, this is one fundamental law in quantum physics where uh, they say that um, a wave is a particle and a particle is a wave. And the only time when a wave collapses into becoming a particle is when there is a conscious observer. Can you relate? Now, if that's the case, and we look at parallel universes, so they, in these in these parallel universes, they have to be their own, I won't say independent conscious observers, but their own observers. And uh, in relation to uh, my explanation of parallel universes, parallel universes or multidimensional universes or multiverses are only created at the point of I'll, I'll use layman terms and say choice. I could say change, I could say a difference. A new universe is created. So that means if I decide to keep my hands down here, I'm keeping them down here, a universe has been created. Whereas another universe has been created if we have my hands up. But since there's a time span, there is that variable between the difference in my actions. It, it, right? it just depends what consciousness has chosen to rest its eye on that particular object. Now, I'm using human terms because that's as simple as we can look at it. So, anyways, so what consciousness does, and um, this, it's, it's a bit, co it's confusing for to explain to a, a lay, uh, I'd say layman or to someone, but if we are to look at, uh, uh, if we are to stop a second of time, just one second, and we look at that second of time sideways. So imagine, imagine again, I'll take, uh, I can take, I'll take this controller and we, we are looking at time like this. We see it like one second. This is the start of the second. That's the end of the second, right? And we look at it, we say, wow, that's the past and that's the future. And if we observe all of it simultaneously, that's the present. Can you relate? We have to observe this simultaneously. If we move along it, it's, you know, we give room for past, present. Um, as long as we move, a, the, the, we quote, this is a quote, as long as we move along time, as long as we move along time, we will always be looking at time. Always always as past or future never present so let's say i take a second out right a second of time and space so we're looking at this past and we're looking at this present and we're looking at it all simultaneously in one go now what we would see right if we look at this we'll be able to look at this time and say wow we're looking at this in a two-dimensional manner, which means, like, you will see it like this, which is, as I explained, past and, uh, past and future, right? Which is a two-dimensional plane. But let's say we were to take this time and put it into a three-dimensional plane. Now, if we put it in three, 